Now at 10, our Dory Scheidel is live just outside the fairgrounds where the county executive made a big announcement of how to use millions that would come from New York State. Dora. That's right, Matt. After a speech that lasted almost an hour, the county executive announced her major plans in the last few minutes. And if everything goes her way, this view of the fairgrounds will look and feel a lot different a year from now. She saved the biggest news for last. We're going to rebrand the fairgrounds as a New York themed theme park. At the very end of her state of the county address, Joni Mahoney announced her grand plans for the New York State Fair. We convinced the governor that we'll continue to be the host. We're very happy to be the host, but we would like you to help us put our best foot forward. She's asked the governor to spend $50 million to upgrade the fairgrounds, something which hasn't been done in almost a century. And one of the benefits we have of having a governor that spent a lot of time at the state fair, he said he used to come when his own father was governor, is he's pointed out that nothing has changed. The goal is to turn the fair into a year-round destination with a state-of-the-art equestrian park. Our, our ultimate goal is to get back to the John Madden style show or the, the Hamptons classic of the north where we bring in the high end horse shows. We bring people in who show horses on a regular basis and they have the money and they have the caliber to, to, to really come to an invitational tournament. Plus a 50,000 foot ice arena that would attract traveling hockey tournaments and an RV park and campground all replacing the grandstand since the big name concerts will now take place at the new Onondaga Lake Amphitheater. When the fair puts on a show at the grandstand, we have to build a stage, we have to put up lighting, we have to put in seating, we have to do all that. The amphitheater will have all that as a permanency up there. So for us, it makes all the sense in the world. A grand plan with an aggressive timeline. Mahoney hopes to see these changes by the summer of 2016. We've checked one of the boxes by getting Governor Cuomo to put it in his budget, but it still has to earn the support of the Assembly and the Senate. The plan is all part of the governor's budget, which is being reviewed by the state legislature right now. We hope to know by April 1st when the budget is due, whether this investment officially makes the cut. Reporting live from outside the state fairgrounds, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt, back to you. Those would be big changes. Thank you, Dora.